Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind the scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. We continue our discussion with Chap Kusimba to explore his research on the archaeology of urbanism in Eastern Africa. My name is Chap Kusimba. I'm a curator of African anthropology uh, at the Field Museum of Natural History. The Swahili states are located in Eastern Africa. Uh, and they are basically located along the East African coast on the Western Indian Ocean. And essentially they, these sites um, emerge around the first century AD and they can be located in southern Somalia, in Kenya, in Tanzania, Mozambique, and some of the Indian Ocean Island uh, nations like the Comoros and Madagascar. Uh, during the period beginning from the first century of the Common Era, we see the emergence of urban areas as planned landscapes in this, in this region. We also see an engagement of these regions uh, in Indian Ocean commerce. Archaeological work uh, in the region has subsequently uh, discovered more than 400 archaeological sites, uh, ranging from usually small uh, villages um, of you know, probably 100 to 200 uh, to 500 folks uh, to uh, towns and cities uh, that had as many as 15 uh, to 30,000 um, people. Uh, they have a, so these were essentially very uh, large uh, towns at their time, considering that uh, their counterparts in Europe, for example, a city like London or Rome, uh, had no more than 50,000 uh, people at this time. So you are really looking at you know, some of the earliest uh, manifestations of urbanism in, uh, on the, in, in sub-Saharan Africa at, at this time. The primary archaeological history of Africa is invincible. There are just a few places with uh, build-up environments. Does that mean that people didn't live there? Because these areas have extremely rich uh, resources. They have fertile lands, they have uh, rainfall patterns, uh, very regular and all of that. Uh, it's just that the people of Central Africa had different ways of building and uh, maintaining their homes, homesteads. Uh, it was a question of the availability of uh, raw materials, for example, building materials. Um, and they relied on probably wood more than anything else. But I think that the, the mere absence of build up environments within Africa, and this being used as a way of showing that, you know, perhaps Africans did not innovate or they did not live permanent settled lives until somehow um, Muslims or Israelites or even as recently as you know, uh, the 15th century when Europeans came to Africa is when civilization began, I think is a very unfair uh, treatment of an important uh, region of the world, a region that I dare say begat all of us in some, some respects. 